bentornati nel nostro canale. Il chitarrista di oggi non ha bisogno di grosse presentazioni, è un gigante, uno che ha lavorato con personaggi del calibro di Miles Davis e Jacob Astorius. Si chiama Mike Stern. Abbiamo avuto l'opportunità di intervistarlo lo scorso maggio presso la Sala Paradiso a Bologna. La prima domanda che gli abbiamo posto è stata come è nato il libro Ultimate Play Along for Guitar. I did that book, uh, uh, Dave Weckl had asked me years ago, this was from years ago, uh, to, to uh, do this really well put together play along book that uh, he did with John Patitucci. And John wrote a lot of the songs, I think maybe he wrote all the songs. And I would just play over the, play the song, uh, over what they'd already recorded. And of course, I mean, those guys sound great together. So for a play along, it's really a good, good book. Kind of easy stuff, or basically pretty easy. Uh, not really complicated by any means, but, but still, you can learn from it. You know, uh, if you're at the right level. I mean, some people would want to get more advanced stuff, but a lot of guitar players really like that book because it, it helps them uh, get an idea of certain things that they need to learn. And um, and so it was fun doing it. It was Dave's idea and uh, you know, to include me in it, so I'm glad. And then I, I didn't even realize it was going to be my own book, but each, uh, everybody made their own. You know, Dave uh, made his, uh, he did a couple of them, and um, uh, John Patitucci did a couple. That's the only one I did for, for, with, with that project. I did a more recent book, uh, it's, a, it's just a guitar book, for, for, and teaches about some scales, some mm -hmm. kind of altered scales, kind of more, uh, scales that I get a lot, uh, sometimes asked about a lot. Uh, and when I'm teaching. So I figured I would try to do a book with a really good uh, company and the guy and the guy was great. Uh, and it's called Altered Scales, it's called my name, Mike Stern, and it's called uh, Altered Scales Soloing. Mm. And uh, it was a cool project. I did it during the pandemic because we couldn't go anywhere and play anywhere. So I was teaching a lot, as I already mentioned to you, and uh, on Zoom. And then I did that book also. Been, uh, it's called um, Altered Scale Soloing, something like that they called it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good Ooh. project, and the guys that work there are fantastic. They have a lot of really good guitar books, instructional. Collegata a questa domanda, gli abbiamo chiesto uh, se prevede di fare un libro uh, simile a Ultimate Play Along for Guitar ma con degli standard jazz. Yeah, maybe, maybe I would do that and I would do that with that same company and I, I'm bl blanking on what they, uh, I can't remember the company, but it's great. You should check them out. Maybe we'll find the name later, <laughs> but uh, you should check them out and, uh, and maybe uh, check out all the books that they have because it's really good stuff and they do a great job. It's a guy named Tim Pettingale and his brother, uh, and, and they, they do great work with this stuff, uh, amazing, with a whole bunch of different guitar players, they, they've done a lot of books. Nella domanda successiva gli abbiamo chiesto dell'incidente, nel quale si è rotto entrambe le clavicole. Uh, I broke about three, no, now five years ago, I broke, uh, it was in July 16th, uh, 2016 is when that happened six years, uh, ago. Six years ago and um, I broke uh, both these I fell like this over some construction that wasn't supposed to be in the middle of the street uh, or it was left there by somebody in the middle of the block and I tripped on it just going you know kind of walking not running just walking kind of fast but not not really fast and, and just regular walking across the street and I, I just nicked it a little with my foot and then I started running to catch my body from, <laughs> from going down and, um, and I broke uh, uh, both these humerus bones they're called and, and uh, uh, 
and then after that, unfortunately, this uh, nerve damage happened. Oh. So, so what I'm left with is this uh, a real challenge to, 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 to keep playing. I found a way. I had a bunch of surgeries, but with an excellent doctor, really great, uh, Dr. Alton Barron. Is his name, and uh, and he's a expert at this stuff, and also a really great guy, and so he he really helped me get to where I'm able to play again, and uh, and he did it almost right away, where I in, in different stages. So every time he would do a different surgery, which was kind of every year for the last six years, um, it helped. So every time, so now it's really, uh, you know, I'm can play. The only thing is I have to, I, the thing I found that I've realized I need is glue around oh. the pick. So it's kind of wig glue. You know, people that wear fake hair, you uh -huh. know, they use wig glue. It's very sticky glue, but it doesn't hurt your skin. Oh. So I put a piece around the pick and I can hold the pick, otherwise it slides around too much. Oh. So that's what I got to do. So it's a challenge, but, um, but I, I want to keep playing, of course. Nella terza domanda le abbiamo chiesto come è cambiato il suo modo di studiare sullo strumento dopo l'incidente. Same way, uh, maybe a little bit different. I had to kind of relearn certain things, yeah. but uh, basically I'm left with, uh, especially recently, uh, because he's done these cool things in, in helping me, uh, I can do pretty much uh, what I used to do. There's a difference, of course, and I, I always wish, I'm always complaining about, I wish I had what I had before. But, uh, and it's, it feels different, of course. But at least uh, when, when I'm playing, most people can't tell the difference, you know, so much. So uh, me, as, a, as inside my own playing, of course I can hear a different thing. But still, I'm grateful that uh, I get a lot of uh, good uh, good uh, comments about my about my playing now, uh, which is means a lot to me, of course. Nell'ultima domanda le abbiamo chiesto del suo approccio all'improvvisazione, se è più lineare o polifonico. Both. 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 For instance, sometimes I'll play a solo just with chord tones, or not, not just with chord tones, but around the chord tones, maybe embellishing the chord tones a little of a, of a song. And, uh, and, and sometimes uh, uh, that's one way of kind of starting off, uh, thinking about the chords, and then the, the uh, scales that go with the, the harmony sometimes, picking those notes. And there are a lot of different options, lots, <laughs> like it's endless. But... Um, but I would say for somebody who's starting to try to play over a jazz song, to try to figure out what the chord, the, the notes of the chord are, and, and try to just use those notes in their playing. And then uh, at first, so they can kind of hear the harmony that way. And uh, uh, then you can learn the scales, of course, the, the chord scales, the scales that are associated with the chords in, the, in a specific... Uh, uh, setting, kind of, you know, musical setting. Because sometimes chords, if, if they follow this chord or that chord, they, it changes their harmony, actually, and kind of how you would uh, approach it than if it's just there by itself. So, so uh, if that makes any sense, it, 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 it means the context of the different chords. But, but then, um, then the, you know, the main thing is it's like learning any language, you know. You, you listen to people speak the language if you're learning English or if I'm learning Italian, you know. I have to listen and then study. To a point you can study the language, but then you have to listen. And that's where you get all the real uh, knowledge of the language and, and, the, um, and, and, the, and the subtlety and the real life, <laughs> you know. Uh, 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 approach to speak in Italian. If you, you, it's you know, you won't learn it from school. You can go to a certain point with books and with school, but then basically everything's learned by by two things uh, actually: by uh, listening to something like a language or music, and playing or speaking. And then you make a lot of mistakes, and then you correct them, and that's how you learn. 
basically at the end of the day. So, uh, so books and, and theory and all that stuff help a lot, of course. But after a while, uh, it's, it's, li it's listening and, and doing it yourself. You know? That's how you learn.